guys, my name is Princess Fatima. It's my second video, and I hope you also liked my first video. Today, I decided to share a story with you. The name of the story is The Miser's Goal. It is a classic story. It is based on three characters: an old man, a robber, and a fairy. I hope you will like it. Be like, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon. Let's start it. Once upon a time, there was a selfish old man. He lived all by himself in a little cottage. Now this old man has a big bag of gold. He will every night he will take his gold out and count it. I am a rich man. He said to himself, "All this gold belongs to me. I will keep it in the chest. No one will ever get a share of it." One dark night, the robber was passing the old man's home. He saw he saw the light and looked through it. At that moment, the miser was hiding his gold. Oh, said the robber, "I will wait until the old man has gone to bed. Then I will stole his money." Later that night, the robber crept. Quietly into the house, the old miser was fast asleep and did not hear him. The robber stole the bag of gold and ran away. Now there was a little hole in the bottom of the bag. One by one, the gold coins fell out. Soon the bag was empty. The robber was very, very angry. He had lost all the gold. He could not find the money because it was dark. I will sleep here in the forest, he said to himself. I will rise early in the morning. It will be easy to find the gold in daylight. The next day at dawn, a strange thing happened. Who came dancing along the forest path? But a fairy. She saw all the gold. Coins scattered on the grass. Oh, she cried! Someone has stolen the old miser's gold. What shall I do? If I give it back to him, he will only hide it again. He is such a mean and greedy man. The fairy touched the gold coins with her magic wand. At once, they changed into lovely golden daffodils. That is much better, she said. These flowers will make children happy. Suddenly, the fairy saw the sleeping robber. This bad man must be punished, said the fairy. He should not take what is not his own. She touched the robber with her magic wand. The robber wake up and try to speak. Instead, he make a horrid croaking sound. When he tried to run away, he found himself hopping about from place to place. The fairy had changed him into an ugly toad. Wow, it is a wonderful story. Now let's discuss about the story. First, we will discuss about the old man. He collect money and did not share with others, which is very bad habit. I think, friend, we should share our things with others and spread happiness. Now let's talk about the second one, who was the robber. I think, friends, it was the worst character because he did not believe himself. Last year, we're going to talk about my favorite character, the fairy. I love this character because she punished both of them according to their deeds. These are my views. Do share your views with me in my comment box below. Okay, bye.